Hello, welcome back. So in this uh, video today, we will understand uh, what is consistency levels in Cosmos DB. There are basically five consistency levels that Cosmos DB provides uh, and you can, we can uh, choose, I mean, we can understand to choose uh, between these five levels of consistency in detail. Also, I recommend you to watch uh, the previous videos in the same playlist uh, if you want to understand the Cosmos DB in detail. So there are a lot of uh, videos that, has, that have been up uh, in the same playlist of Cosmos DB. So I recommend you to uh, go back and watch those videos as well. Before proceeding, and uh, if you haven't yet subscribed for this channel, so I recommend you to please subscribe uh, for this channel. And also don't forget to press bell button for instant notifications when we upload new videos. So let's get started. So basically let's understand why we need the consistency levels in first place, right? So what is the need of having a consistency level uh, in Cosmos DB? So let us know, I mean, uh, in, in the previous video, so just we have seen the, what is the replication. So one of the uh, biggest uh, feature or one of the powerful feature of Cosmos DB is the replication, like a global replication. You can basically replicate your data geographically in, in many different uh, physical locations, right? And physical regions, uh, Azure regions. So when we do that, so uh, you can see that in the previous video, how, how can we have a replication enable, basically the global replication enable. Uh, in the previous video, we have explained in detail. But uh, take an example, the consistency level will definitely come into picture only when you are replicating the data into the different regions. Like uh, there will be a primary region where your application is connected and you are doing a read and write. But also there is a secondary reason, what we might call as a replicated reason, where your data is continuously getting synced. So that we call it as a secondary region, right? So if, if suppose if you don't have a secondary region, like uh, you don't have a disaster recovery plan or you don't have a uh, requirement where you want to move the data towards uh, or near to the customers uh, uh, to avoid the latency or to decrease the latency, right? So in that case, uh, definitely you don't need the consistency level. So consistency level, level will only come into picture when you have the data sync enabled to the another region, okay? So that's the primary thing that we need to understand. And uh, so now let's imagine that we have replicate, we are replicating the data to a secondary region. So in this example, we have taken a primary region where our Cosmos DB is provisioned. It's uh, take, for example, we are doing it in a East US. And uh, the secondary reason we have taken North Europe where the data is getting replicated in real time. Uh, and this we can consider as a secondary region. And uh, now let us take the scenario one where the daily data, f uh, I mean daily finance account closure is needed. So that means uh, as a finance manager or uh, as a finance person, uh, you need to close the daily accounts of finance uh, globally, right? So you, you want to consolidate all the reports globally and you want to close the accounts uh, for, a, for a particular day on a daily basis, right? So in that case, uh, what, what would happen, right? Uh, like if you enabled the replication of a Cosmos DB to different region and uh, that finance reports are generated in the secondary region, not in the primary region, right? So when they, uh, when it is generated a secondary region, definitely there will be a slight delay. So, I mean, according to Cosmos DB, it is uh, still uh, in seconds, okay? Sometimes it is in milliseconds, mostly it will be in milliseconds. But uh, take, for example, uh, still, you don't want to take a risk of missing those uh, one or two records or one or two transaction also because of this uh, milliseconds or uh, kind of seconds delay, right? Because it is a finance and uh, if you are missing one or two uh, invoices or accounts, right? Account details, right? That might uh, lead to a uh, lot of mismatches in your in your closure, uh, account closure, what you're doing. So in that case, you don't want to take a risk. So rather taking a risk, uh, so you can still wait. So rather taking a risk, you can wait and what you can do is like uh, suppose a transaction or invoices are getting generated at uh, 10 a.m. like and 10 seconds, 10th second, right? And here uh, this report is being generated on the 11th second. So whenever the report is generated on the 11th second, okay, so it takes, uh, I mean, uh, it makes sense to wait for one more second, okay, because it is generated at 10, uh, 10 second. So we can wait till 11th second and then uh, uh, generate a report. Okay, so then like we will not miss those invoices. So if you want to, if you're generating a report at the 10th second only, so that one or two uh, invoices which are generated at 10, 10 and it is, it is in the process of getting synced might get missed. 
So th in this case, uh, in, in this scenario one, we cannot afford uh, to miss that invoice. Okay, because of the sync issue. So that's the reason. So this become very important that here you can see the consistency is very important. Availability is still okay. Because what we are trying to say here is uh, the consistency uh, the data consistency is very important okay and the availability availability can be compromised because the latency is not in like hours or something right it is just in a seconds or a milliseconds so we can still wait uh, for this okay so uh, wait for the records for records for uh, getting synced uh, like uh, we can afford to wait like uh, one or two seconds for that matter right so this is a scenario one where we talk about the requirement of uh, having a high consist the need of having a consistent consistent record so but the availability can be a little compromised because it's just a milliseconds or seconds. And now let's take a second example where you're talking about a social media, right? So like you can take Instagram or Facebook or any uh, any social media like LinkedIn or anything, right? Suppose you can, uh, like you don't need that particular, suppose uh, we'll take a same example, right? Same region and uh, same, uh, suppose if somebody is posting a Facebook post or a LinkedIn post in the primary region East US, uh, so and that can be replicated immediately to the North Europe. So without any delay, without any delay, it can be immediately synced to the North Europe. And I can see that uh, particular uh, post here. So whether he, uh, imagine he has posted it and he has edited the post at a 10, 10 second, right? So I need not wait for that ed edited record to sync uh, to me. So I can still view the old uh, particular post only, old post of his uh, at uh, 10, 11th also, because that's not a problem for me because it is just a social media site and uh, there is no business critical or kind of a mission critical things that we are trying to achieve here so what we are uh, achieving here is more of a availability so data availability is important in such scenarios uh, not the consistency consistency can be compromised uh, because it is again a slight delay so after like one or two seconds if he's refreshing this page uh, he'll be able to see the updated record but the critical piece here is uh, the availability and the consistency can be compromised a little bit so you can see here, right? The scenario one and scenario two is just a trade-off between uh, consistency and availability. If you're going for a high consistency, then your availability is little compromised and it's the other way around. So you just need to choose between these two. So that's the reason why the Cosmos DB has uh, provided us, uh, I mean, this control has been given to the, uh, basically the user or the provisioner of the Cosmos DB, right? So as a data engineer or uh, whoever is handling the Cosmos DB or whoever is handling the architecture uh, based on the requirement. Uh, so where you want to land, whether you want to land at a high availability kind of category or you want to go at a, uh, I mean, a high, high consistency kind of category. So you can just uh, switch in between and it is not just uh, between these two. Uh, between these, uh, there are uh, three more. Totally, there are five consistency ranges uh, that the Cosmos DB has provided, which will range uh, between the high availability and high consistency. So let us see about that uh, practically. Yeah, so as you can see here, I'm in my Azure Cosmos DB account. Uh, and in the previous video, we have uh, seen the replication of the data. So here, as you can see that uh, imagine the data is in uh, like East US and we are trying to replicate that in uh, any other location for that matter, right? So I take example of like, uh, any example right i can take any example here where i want to write it so these are all this become will become the secondary regions so whenever you are enabling these kind of replication right when you don't have any kind of replication then uh, there is no point of having the consistency levels then there is no point of discussing consistency levels only when you are having a secondary region so then it matters whether you want to sync the data uh, when you're syncing the data which is important whether the data consistency is important or the data avail availability is important because whenever the data is getting updated here it might take some time right so it won't get immediately updated here suppose you want to view the old record itself here or you want to wait for the update to finish and then uh, uh, view the updated record so this is more of a data availability and consistency if you're waiting here and uh, then you are you want to get the updated record so then you are looking for a high consistency. So if you are just uh, want to view the record as it is and you don't wait for the update to finish, then it is more of a availability. So that option, uh, what we're talking as a consistency levels, right? So that is defined in this, uh, uh, this inside settings, there is something called as consistency, default consistency. As you can see, the default consistency is always the session. So 
don't get confused uh, because of the names here. Okay, so there are five levels of consistency. Definitely the strong consistency means uh, you are choosing the highest consistency, but your availability will be very low. And the other way, the extreme of it is here, there will availability will be very high, but consistency will be very low. So in between you, you have uh, multiple options here, as you can see, right? Don't worry about uh, much about the details of it. Okay, as of now, but uh, definitely if you, uh, if you just understand the high level concept, right, then uh, you can understand the details very easily here. So as you can see, uh, if you see this, uh, like a uh, musical notes, right? So you can understand most of the story behind uh, what is the high, cons I mean, the strong consistency level means. So when we're talking strong consistency level, the data availability, I mean, uh, it is just about the receiving the data at uh, another region in a consistent form. So as you can see here, uh, if you're choosing this, the order, okay, if you see the red, there are different colors, right? So the, in the other regions also, you are receiving the, the same order and you are receiving in almost the same time. So this is very strong consistency level. And if you go for a boundless uh, staleness, bounded staleness, right? Here you might uh, see some delay. As you can see in the West uh, Central US, there is some delay because the red is started here, but uh, it is received at like uh, with some, some delay. But the order is still retained, as you can see, right? It is red, blue, purple, red, blue, purple. So the order is still retained. And if you go to the next one, which is the session level, which is a default one. So if you are just creating, uh, like if you do, if you want to, don't want to keep your, uh, I mean, uh, if you don't want to keep that reason uh, or take the responsibility of uh, choosing this, right? So you can still uh, keep a session, which is a default one. So that's why Cosmos DB uh, is uh, choosing the session as a default one. So to, uh, to be in the safer side, you can go with the session. Uh, session. If you're having a business critical applications or uh, you want to think more about the consistency level. So in that case, you need to uh, choose anything apart from session, right? So this is a default one where you can see there is a balance between uh, these two, right? The availability and consistency. And uh, you can read this also, what is written here. I am not going to explain this because you can uh, go ahead and read regarding this in detail. But uh, here also, if you see, right, so the order is still maintained, but the the delay, right, the gap between these things might vary. Like here, uh, it is there is a lot of gap here, right? It is waiting for a lot of time here in between. So that kind of things will come in a session level because within the particular session, okay, the order, order will be retained. So if there's a one session the user has created, right? So within that session, the order will be completely retained here. Okay, the order still is still retained, right? And if you go to the consistency prefix, so here, if you see, there might be a possibility that even though you are getting the notes uh, in the, or, or you, are, you are like consider the transaction in order, but is it, there is no guarantee. Okay, it will uh, be uh, received at a particular time, as you can see here, right? So the red is being received in East US here, but West US at a little early, but North US a little more late. And if you talk about, uh, like say this one, right? The black one. So it is too late to be received here, right? So there is no guarantee basically. It's, it's more of, more of we're going towards the availability here. So there it will be available. Definitely the uh, notes will be available, but there is no guarantee when it will be available. So let's move to the last one, which is eventual. Here we are talking more about the low consistency. The consistency is very low, as you can see here, right? So here it's getting generated, but red is completely missed out here. Okay, there is no guarantee that that uh, message, I mean, it, there is no order also basically, right? That means when there is no order, we are talking more about the less consistency. There is no consistency at all here, okay? Uh, it is just availability. As and when the blue is uh, getting, so it will just be available in the East US. It will not wait for red to be available. So this is a transaction one followed by transaction two. Uh, here you are inserting a record here. You're updating update one, update two, update three, update four. Imagine like that, right? So it will not wait, wait for uh, update one and then update two. Okay. Once the update two is available, it will br immediately bring that in the region. Uh, as you can see here, blue is available here and uh, here the red is available at the last. Okay. So it basically uh, here it's more about the availability. Okay. Just uh, getting a transaction, make it available. That's it. Okay. Just like a Facebook post. So as and as and when the post is available, so just it will be posted in the particular region. It will not wait for the edit to get synced or somebody is commenting on that. Uh, that has to be synced. So it will not do that. Okay. It is just about the availability and consistency is very less here. So just about, so as you can understand, this is a band, right? So you can choose between the range uh, of uh, choosing the consistency and choosing the availability. And that goes between the strong and eventual.
Hope uh, this was useful. Thanks for watching.